more mommy tips and some more mommy talk. Today, we're gonna be discussing the pros and cons of a C-section delivery. Last week, we talked about pros and cons of vaginal. Today, we're gonna be covering C-section, okay? And I am talking about a planned C-section, not an emergency C-section, okay? Planned C-section, okay? But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button to the right of your screen and do not forget to hit the bell so that you get all your updates about every time I post, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Pros and cons of a C-section. The Let's first it. pro is gonna be convenience for mommy. Now, I'm talking about planned C-sections because you have planned C-sections and you have emergency C-sections. We're talking about planned C-sections. The convenience of that is I can't even I can't even imagine because I didn't have a planned C-section. I had a vaginal and then I had an emergency C-section. For the plan, I know one of my friends had one and she was just relaxed. She knew her baby's due date. She was able to schedule off for work. She was able to just get everything done. She got the nursery done, everything in time because they already knew when the baby was coming. They usually schedule it between 39 to 40 weeks gestation and you got plenty of time. So you usually don't ha have too many moms popping up um, with premature and going into labor early. Most of the times where they schedule it, you have no problems with it. So. Two, convenience. Lower risk of complications doing, during labor. Now, with the vaginal one, we talked about those cons that you have unexpected complications. But with planned C-sections, there's, I'm not gonna say that there's not any, but there, you're at a lower risk for it because the doctors can prepare, they examine you and make sure that they are aware of everything that's going on. So they kind of go into it prepared. So you have um, a lower risk of infection, accidental injuries, lacerations to the baby, and um, any anesthesia related problems as well. So. Uh, less complications. Okay, this is probably gonna be a little weird, but it was a good one that I saw and just thought it might help somebody. Um, three, if you have an STD or if you have any sort of infections, um, your baby is less like is, is less likely to be transmitted over to your baby if you have a C-section because usually they get it when they um, come through the birth canal. So if you have a C-section, it's more it's less likely for them to for that disease to be transmitted to them. Now. Um, that's not, that's not to say that it won't be, but it's less likely. So that is a pro for those who may um, have Four, you are at a lower risk for birth trauma, such as bruising, such as swelling, such as um, hemorrhoids. Those things because they're cutting you open. You're not, then nothing's coming through the, the vagina. So you're not gonna have to worry about those type of things. So healing is gonna be, um, I'm not gonna say it's, better but it's gonna be um it's not gonna be so much as far as with the vagina <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that part you can at least use the bathroom you can at least go boo, boo you can do what you need to do without having a whole bunch of issues and problems um because you just had a baby it's all gonna be in the and tummy. five lower risk of urinary incontinence we talked about this over in the vaginal one uh, but this is urine leaks meaning you pee on yourself at times you're not gonna have that well you have lower risk because sometimes um, when they have to pull the baby out when you have a c-section sometimes they can put pressure on your bladder which can um lead to urinary incontinence but for the most part you're at a lower risk for it which is a good thing now i only covered five like I said in the last one, there are lots more pros and lots more cons. There are going to be um, links in the description box below, so make sure that you check that out. But five, my top five, the ones that I thought that were the most. Now important. we're going to move over to the cons. And like I always say, I'm only going. I'm actually only going to cover six um, cons. That sixth one was actually really important when I was doing my research. So we're going to do six cons. There's lots more. There are links in the description box below so you can get more information if you're just wanting to research more on cons of um, C-section. So, I'm gonna cover six. One, being surgical risk. Now, understand that having a C-section is major abdominal surgery. They are cutting open your stomach to get this baby out. So this is major surgery and you're gonna have, you can have, there are risk of having um, an anesthesia related problems afterwards such as headaches, such as nausea, such as vomiting. And then the anesthesia can also affect the baby and cause the baby to be sluggish or inactive when they come out. So 
just understand that you can have surgical risks. There are lots of other surgical risks that are involved that could occur. And like I said, just do your research and just um, get all your questions answered by researching or asking your doctor. But one is Two, surgical risk. Longer hospital stays. I am pro long hospital stays. Like I said in the vaginal one. Um, vaginals, you have shorter hospital stays. C-section, you have longer ones. I was so happy to be able to stay in the hospital for like an extra two or three days just to relax. But the reason why you're going to have a longer um, stay is because they cut you open and you're going to have to um, really kind of learn how to walk. And not necessarily learn how to walk, but start walking again before they let you leave. You have to, um, it's probably going to get a little personal, but you have to boo-boo. You have to... Um, pass gas before they let you leave just to make sure that everything's working again so um, that is a con to them it's a pro for me because I enjoy staying in the hospital being served my dinner and all it was great so but longer hospital stays three is a con uterine ruptures um, that is just when there's a they cut up when they cut you open there's a chance they could tear um, the wall of your uterus uh, which for most cases usually ends up in result resulting in you having to always have a c-section um i i don't have a lot of information on why why um like i said descriptions in the, in the links in the description box below but i'm not sure why you have to have if they tear your wall and your uterus um for any upcoming pregnancies you're going to have to have a c-section so that is a con that is a big con for me because i don't want to have any more c-sections i would like to push my babies out um but that's a con just possible breastfeeding difficulties oh i know that was a pro with vaginal because you're able to um, feed the baby immediately but if you have a C-section, when I had my son, they took them out. You know, they have to make sure they're okay. And you don't, and they have to finish stitching you up, making sure that you're closed and everything is good. And then they take you to your room and the baby is wherever. And you may not see the baby for a while, which sometimes um, puts a strain on your milk coming in because it really helps the milk to come in when the baby is on you immediately. You're able to immediately do um, skin to skin or they're able to immediately start sucking. So sometimes it can cause difficulties. I didn't have necessarily have any difficulties difficulties with it um, my milk came in fine but that's because I was I was a pumping mom and I just immediately started pumping so um, sometimes they say if you're nursing you can have difficulties if you have a c-section but you know it's just a con it may, happen, it may not it is more expensive to have a planned c-section people understand where there is more luxury there is a cost to that and if you want to plan your baby and have a plan c-section you're going to pay for it so make sure that you are checking into your um, insurance plans and see if they even cover that because some insurance plans don't even cover plan c-sections so make sure that they cover that and if not make sure that you check in with the hospitals to get all those costs and tally up tally up your numbers because you're going to pay pay a pretty penny for a and plan the last one six I thought this was important and it, it is incision pain and scarring now when I had my um, c-section I did deal with incision pain it is very painful but I caused it on myself because I did not listen to what the doctors told me to do as soon as I had my baby I went to baby's RS and went shopping and was getting stuff because he came six weeks early and we need, I felt like I needed to get prepared but I ended up um, paying for that later um, as far as went with the, with my incision it was very painful so if you rest if you don't walk like they tell you to no up and down steps I have a two-story house I was up and down my steps washing bottles doing whatever before he came home and um, I paid for it so the key to not having so much incision pain is to do what the doctors say rest get off your feet not a lot of walking not a lot of up and down steps don't pick up anything heavy those things is gonna cause way more pain so all right mommies that's all I've got for you today. We have just discussed the pros and the cons of C-section delivery. I hope I answered all your questions. Like I said many, many times in this video, there are links in the description box below. So make sure that you, if you have any additional questions, if you have anything that I did not answer, that I did not cover, links are below to where I got all this information. I also talked to my doctors and things. So message me comment comment below with any questions or things that, that you feel like i didn't cover or i didn't answer or if i just didn't get something right let me know i'm not perfect i'm just doing my research to make sure i'm bringing you quality content so let me know if i didn't get something right or if you just have more questions comment below or you can personally message me it is in the description box as well okay 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Gonna plug it every single time. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And make sure you ring that bell so you get all of your updates about every time I post. Okay? And if your children have not told you today, you are a great mom and they appreciate all that you do. And remember, ladies, a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed. Okay? Thanks so much, mom. Have a good one.